So what a STL file actually is? What is a 3D printer for? How to make a STL file? Why people slice them? And why is everyone printing a boat? Last question blow my mind. What is STL files? Imagine you are playing with building blocks, but instead of using real blocks, you are using a special kind of computer blocks. These blocks can be any shape you want, like squares, triangles, or funny shape like animals or cars. Once they open a STL file in Fusion and saw this. So let's dig a little bit deeper to understand how this STL file works. You see, when you make something using those computer blocks, the STL file breaks down your creation into tiny little triangles. Imagine your object is made up of lots and lots of tiny triangles, all fitting together like a puzzle. Why triangles? Well, it turns out triangles are really good at describing shapes in 3D space. They are simple and easy for a computer to understand, so when you save your creation as a STL file, it's like taking a picture of it made entirely out of triangles. I thought that rectangle will be a better choice, but are you also inspired by these farms? Most of these printers print same STL files. The value of these files increased, right? Now we understand how important are STL files for a 3D printer. So let's talk about how to create them. There are a couple of different methods you can use depending on what you are trying to make. Modeling or sculpting. Modeling is like building something with digital blocks. You start with basic shapes like cubes, cylinders and spheres and then you combine and manipulate them to create more complex objects. This is great for creating things like mechanical parts, architectural models or anything that needs precise measurement and angles. Software like Autodesk Fusion, SolidWorks or Tinkercad are commonly used for modeling. Sculpting, on the other hand, is like working with virtual clay. Instead of starting with basic shapes, you start with a blank canvas and use digital tool to shape and mold your object freely. This is perfect for creating organic shapes, characters, creatures and anything that require more artistic freedom. Software like Blender, ZBrush or Maya are popular choice for sculpting. No matter which method you choose, the goal is the same, to create a digital 3D model that accurately represents your vision. Once you are happy with your model, you can then export it as an STL file, which can be read by 3D printers and used to bring your creation to life in the physical world. Imagine your 3D printer is like a super fancy chief and the STL file is like a recipe. When you want to cook something, you give the chef a recipe, right? But here's the thing. The chef needs a version of recipe that tells them exactly what ingredients to use, how to combine them and in what order. That's where the cheat code comes in. It contains all the detailed instructions on how to printer should move its parts and which materials to use layer by layer to create your 3D model. Layer by layer? Who sliced my 3D model? Well, slicing is like taking your 3D model and cutting it into lots of thin layers. Kind of like slicing a loaf of bread. Each layer is then printed one on top of other to build up your final object. To generate G-code you need slicing software. There are lots of different slicing software options out there, but some popular ones include Cura, Bamboo Studio and Prusa Slicer that's tailored to your specific printer and the material you are using. Once you have your G-code ready, you can load it onto your 3D printer and start the printing process. The printer with the G-code line by line, following the instruction to move the printer head, hit the nozzle and deposit filament layer by layer until your object is complete. And the final question is, why everyone print both? The name of this boat is Benji. The Benji is around since 2050 and it is used as a benchmark for 3D printers. With this tiny little boat, you can access the quality of your printer, filament and calibration. This model contains a lot of different challenges for 3D printer like tiny holes, slopes, large overhangs, 
cylinders, shapes which reveals issue with the calibration or building quality of the printer. So, to sum up, STL file is a language with 3D printer. We slide them and make G-code to write instruction for printer how to print. And if you want to know more about 3D printing world, like this video and write some comment. When I make some new necessary video, you will know about it. Thanks for watching.